Hi, I'm Stewie3D, and uh, in today's stream and subsequent video, uh, oh god, uh, my Wi Fi problems. They've come back with a vengeance. So, two, oh, how many days ago? 12 days ago, I thought I'd fix my Wi Fi issues. Um, I thought it was IPv6. Uh, what was the issue? Turned it off, no problems at all for the last nearly two weeks. Last night, freezing again. And Chrome, if you lose any form of internet connection whilst you're using Chrome, it just has a complete issy fit and just goes, nah, we're not having it. Um, so, yeah, oh, God, the internet. I've narrowed it down, it's 5 gigahertz, and I'm pretty certain that the uh, it's the AC7265 that is causing me the problems. I've tried various drivers, I've tried um, I've tried uh, Linux live USB, uh, well, we, I, you, if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen what I've tried. I have tried absolutely bloody everything, IPv6 on or off. The trend micro settings in the router, change the DTIM, the beacon intervals. I have delved into router settings that I should never have had to delve into. I've had to, I've flashed that router about four bloody times. No, four times. That's I flashed that four times today. Oh god, how many times have I reset that? More than I can bloody count. I know the router settings. Off the top of my head, I know exactly which page to go in out to set it up, how I to do it. But yeah, long story short, it appears that the 5 gigahertz uh, band of the Intel dual band wireless AC7265 is knackered. Uh, don't quite understand how it can die so quickly. I've never had an internal Wi-Fi card die like this before. Um, so, uh, I've tried all of the fancy little settings in this menu, and in the end, the only way I've managed to get reliable internet is by nerfing my internet connection, uh, by nerfing the hardware, I'm doing preferred band 2.4. So basically, I've gone from a throughput of 866.7 meg down to 144, which is not bad in the grand scheme of things, but when you've got like me, yeah, multiple uh, network attached storage devices with uh, various things on, um, yeah, you, you then lose a lot of your speed. Now, one of my first tests I did with this laptop, I pulled a file from my MyCloud, which is the public and the private folders there, and I pulled it across at 60 megabytes per second. I did that same test today on the 2.4 network, 6. It was like 10 times slower. It was ridiculously slow. Thankfully, I don't use these devices that much, but yeah, I have basically had to nerf the Wi-Fi, and I'm not happy at all, to be honest with you, because, you know, it's a... It's only a three-month-old laptop. I mean, the Wi-Fi has been working absolutely fine for absolutely ages. Um, and it's only in the last few weeks it has suddenly just had a hissy fit. It seemed like June. It just started happening in June, you know. And, yeah, I've had the laptop since February with no problems at all. The router has all been the same, you know. I figured, I thought, have I tweaked some settings in the router? Because... I did have a few issues trying to get the iPhones, but then iPhones have always been a bit of a, a nightmare. The only router I've ever had with an iPhone that worked properly was my TP-Link Arch SC9 with DDWRT on it. With stock firmware, the iPhones would work for a bit and then suddenly freeze and lose all throughput, even though they're indicating full signal. Not had that problem as much with the uh, ASUS, but I've just tweaked a few settings to make the iPhones just work that little bit better. So I figured, was it the settings I tweaked to make the iPhones work better that caused the the router problem, uh, the Wi-Fi issues on the Omen? As I said, I completely formatted the entire thing multiple times. I put multiple firmwares on there. All the same bloody issue. 
Um, beforehand, uh, uh, yeah, what led me to think it was IPv6 was um, it would be on 5 gigahertz, and but and I would still be able to pull stuff over from the internal NAS, but then the internet wouldn't work, and that's why I thought IPv6, and that's, it, as I said, it worked for about two weeks nearly. But, um, yeah, it's just been an absolute nightmare. And I noticed today... Uh, when it has a hissy fit on 5 gigahertz, the signal strength starts to go down. And um, it, my other network, uh, I've got a Wi-Fi analyzer, it wouldn't even find next door neighbor's 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So that's when I knew that there were some significant problems. Um, I mean, it's detecting the 5 gigs now, but beforehand, um, it wasn't even detecting the 5s. It was, yeah, when it was having the problems, the 5 it was basically the whole five gig band. There was just nothing on it. It was like there was nothing there, even though, as you can clearly see, the net next door neighbors got their BT Wi Fi and Home Hub. Uh, there's about three networks crammed down there because there's one um, router broadcasting free, and then mine on the five gig is there. And then there's the 2.4 round wire areas, a few. Uh, meow Audio is my little. Um, uh, little airplay device under the bed it sort of broadcasts the second Wi-Fi hotspot out and in fact actually I was having to connect to the internet via Meow Audio last night until I figured out that yeah it was the fact that yeah 5 gigahertz was just dying and I haven't I, I googled it and in fact there's quite a few people who have had issues with the AC 7265 the 7260 is uh the worst one that has a lot of issues the 7265 was meant to be better but yeah the, it's supposed this one is just having no end of problems now i could return it to hp and all i'll do is shove another 7265 in and expect me to have the same problems but i think what i'm going to do when i upgrade the ram the good thing about having a laptop like this is that I can just shove in a mini M2 uh, Wi-Fi card, and that is the direct replacement for what my card I have in mine is anyway. But it annoys the hell out of me, because that's £27 to me as a consumer. You know, it's just come off a factory production line somewhere. It doesn't even come in a little box, because it's designed for the OEM manufacturers. But yeah, you know, 27 quid to me off Amazon... Or, you know, is pennies to Hewlett Packard. And it annoys the hell out of me because uh, Intel 8265. Uh, bear with me a second. Let's have a look. Product specifications. And then we'll have a look at the Intel 7265. You can see it's auto bloody suggesting here. <laughs> Uh, topics which I've had problems with. Uh, Technic few product specifications. So look at the difference. So the seven two six five was twenty fourteen, and uh, the eight eight two six five was twenty sixteen. Well, this laptop was built in twenty seventeen. Why would you not put the eight two six five in? Why would you cheap out and go for the seven two six five? It doesn't really make much stiff, uh, much sense. I mean, it's very similar <clears throat> in terms of the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi specs. As you can see, 867, 867, Bluetooth 4.2. Um, however, it, so you've got no multi-user, multiple in, multiple out, but you do on the newer one. And my router supports multi-user, multi in, multi out. So I don't know why they didn't put the... 8265 in as I said it just it kind of beggars belief to be honest with you so um, yeah so I, I guess when I upgrade the RAM I shall be uh, putting in the 8265 and for now I am limited down to 2.4 gig Wi-Fi which to feel, I'll be honest with you for just internet browsing is perfectly fine because I don't live in an area which is congested to hell and back with loads and loads of routers, you know, as, there's not tons there. So, um, you know, it's not a case of um, 2.4 is just going to be yeah, giving me loads of problems. Um, so it's not an issue, but it's if I wanted to pull some stuff over from the NAS. I mean, I could either do it very slowly over Wi-Fi or I could go connect via Ethernet. 
I mean, chances are I won't have to use the NAS in a little while anyway, but yeah, eventually, <clears throat> once I've filled the hard drive on here, what I'm going to end up doing is cleaning up the NAS and then basically um, using it to dump my Steam games. So the ones I don't play very often, if I can transfer them over wireless as quick as I could to USB, which at 60 megabytes per second was almost USB speeds, you know, you could just drag your folder of Steam games over to your NAS, two terabytes of storage there, dump them there, and then pull over the games as and when you needed them. So that was the plan, but I don't want to obviously do that if I can't use the 5 gig Wi-Fi. Because, you know, this laptop's Wi-Fi, when it works, is phenomenally quick. But, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just really annoyed me that I'm having to put a new Wi-Fi card into the laptop. Uh, you know, it should never have had to have come to this. And to be honest with you, it's Hewlett Packard being cheap. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's it's only a budget gaming laptop. I mean, don't, if I bought an Apple computer, then I would, you know, I would expect the top-notch bloody components in it because they charge a flipping arm and a leg. So, you know, I guess you do have to make some sort of cutbacks and compromises when you are buying a laptop this powerful for as low price as uh, we actually paid for it but yeah it's just something to be aware of especially if you do use five gig networks I mean it might not be so bad if you've got something like I don't know a BT home hub which is dual band it might be okay but it's the fact that I've got an ASUS RTAC87U which is a proper beast of a router. Now, by all accounts, the AC87U did have some teething problems with 5 gigahertz back in the day, but as progressive firmwares have come out, the 5 gigahertz has got better. And I can attest to that because I've got other devices which will connect and sit on 5 gig, no problems uh, all day, every day. I mean, my iPhone is um, a 2x2 two two, uh, multi and multiple out. Um, uh, 867 meg white 5 gig Wi Fi that doesn't have any problems. Holly, my little girl's iPad Air, same you know, no problems at all there. Even Holly's older iPhone, the iPhone 6, which is broken, you know, it doesn't even connect to the mobile network anymore, it only works on Wi Fi. That connects and works perfect. My wife's work laptop, 5 gig Wi Fi, that connects and works perfect. My MacBook Pro, which is an older. Uh, 802.11n but still dual band so it has got 5 gig wi-fi that connects and works perfect this this laptop now is the only thing that doesn't actually work on the 5 gig wi-fi in the entire house uh which actually now makes me think that yeah it's it's the laptop i didn't want to admit failure i didn't want to admit that actually it, it, it was likely to be a hardware issue um because i couldn't quite believe that it could have been a hardware issue if you know what i mean it's an internal wi-fi card it's never been a laptop's never been t dropped or kicked about you know it's always been well looked after um signal strength is absolutely perfect because i mean if it was going to break you'd think it'd be like the antenna connector or something's just gone and cause a problem there this is a really weird specific issue but if i google it now Give me a second. Intel seven two six five freezing. Oh yeah, I think so. Someone, someone actually did completely. The, yeah, there we go. This is pretty much exactly the issue I'm having. AC seven two six five. I'm having issues with a seven two six five Wi-Fi card on my laptop. Every once in a while, the yellow triangle appear. Mine doesn't get the yellow triangle. It does now and again, but generally the whole, just the Wi-Fi signal stays on and it just freezes. If Chrome is open, it will completely freeze and refuse to open again into the computer. Yep, my Chrome will just lock up and the top bar will go white and go. Chrome will stop responding. Um, yeah, no longer tech the Wi-Fi networks. Um, generally, if you flash the um, airplane mode off and on, sometimes it will work because it's probably forced itself onto the 2.4 band and um yeah the guy says it's every couple of hours and um yeah yeah you know, I've, I've done the reset wi-fi adapter it doesn't hang on that it does actually work the reset but yeah it's just yeah so it's not even as if 
I'm the only one having the issues, you know. It's just 7265, blah, blah, blah. I've turned all the power saving features off. I've gone into the power management uh, of the uh, the Windows power settings where you can change all the lid behavior and stuff like that. And I've left that all into maximum performance mode. And yeah, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the 7265, and uh, if you look at the 7260, God, that thing is the worst thing Intel could have ever bloody uh, released. There's loads of problems with it. So a lot of people are saying the 8265, which is that one, is night and day performance. And I'm hoping the fact that it's because it's just the next model up, it'd be a case of I should be able to just pull it and put an, put it straight and the new one straight in and connect the antennas up with no problems. Because I imagine it's going to be largely just pull in, put a new one in, connect antennas up, job done. I imagine they're all going to be the same connectors, you know, because I was looking at that killer Wi-Fi, the 1535, but I didn't want to risk, you know, getting it and then the antenna connectors all being dodgy or something like that. Whereas at least I know that if I drop the 8265 in, probably about 90% certain that it will just go straight in without any problems at all. And all I'll do is I'll do that when I upgrade the RAM. So, um, yeah. 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi has broken and yeah I'm a little bit annoyed so um, yeah does the annoying thing is as I said it, I love this Omen laptop the, and the laptop itself has been brilliant I can't fault the laptop it's just like oh the good thing is, is that it's an M2 slot. You can pull it and put a new one in. Unlike, say, an Apple computer where it's all well soldered to the motherboard. So if it goes there, it's gone. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping that getting this will solve it and make the Omen as awesome as it was a few weeks ago. I hope it's not the beginning of a whole world of problems. I mean, to be honest with you, the Omen's been absolutely fantastic until this Wi-Fi issue, so, yeah, well, I guess we'll see, I guess, 27 quid, and, uh, see if it makes much of a difference, anyway, that's my, uh, rant over for now, and, uh, I will catch you on the next one, thanks for watching, bye-bye.